Guys, like, comment, subscribe, share the video, especially if you love MMA as much as I do. Um, Hamza Chimaev, in my opinion, is probably the freshest and the most deserving to fight for the middleweight title. Remember, nowadays in sports, it's not always about deserving as far as winning. It's more about the star power, who draws more money, uh, the finisher, a guy that kicks people's butts badly inside the cage. And Hamza is that guy outside of that one decision he had over Gilbert Burns where both guys were at their best and it was arguably fight of the year. Um, he is a guy that crushes people, dominates, runs through people, you know. So with that being said and the fact that I think he'll do better at middleweight than he would at welterweight, not because of the weight cut so much, but because of stylistically he could beat guys like Pereira. He could beat guys like Whitaker. He could beat guys like Paulo Costa. He'll beat guys like Israel Adesanya probably. You know, I think he deserves it because he's probably the biggest test for Izzy. Because think about it, Izzy's beat everybody else at middleweight that's already a contender. You know, uh, and Hamza's a fresh body. He will draw money. Uh, he's a big name. He's a finisher. And stylistically, he's a nightmare for Israel Adesanya. I think he'll beat Adesanya. If, 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 uh, if, if these two were to fight, i put money on Hamza. Because stylistically, Izzy's not... He's the last guy that beat him was Blahovic, Blahovic, right? He beat him with grappling. And nothing against Blahovic, but Hamza's a different animal when it comes to that stuff, you know? Now, Blahovic is more technical. He's more patient. But Hamza's a killer. He can submit anybody. He'll take you down and ragdoll you and submit you. He's actually about as big as him, if not bigger, you know, given he's been fighting at welterweight. He fights at middleweight. He's not going to have to cut much weight. He's going to be fresher. And really, now he's real fresh. He hasn't fought since last year. So... With that in mind, unless Izzy gets a lucky knockout or something, this is a terrible fight for Izzy, you know? Because Hamza can strike, he can bang, he's got a really good chin, and he can knock you out, and he can take you down and submit you and ragdoll you, all right? And because this is his first title fight, I don't think you'll see Hamza gas himself in three rounds. He won't need three rounds to beat Izzy. I think he'll take Izzy down and submit him unless he gets a knockout on the feet, which is possible. Now, of course, if this fight ends in knockout, I know Adesanya will likely win the fight, but I don't think he'll knock out Hamza because Hamza, all he has to do is take him down. You take down a striker, he can't knock you out unless he hits you off his back foot or something, you know. Not back foot, but off his back and hits you with an up kick or something, like stuff we've seen before with Marilla Bustamante in his fight. But Hamza definitely deserves a title shot. He's fresh. He's young blood. He's a guy that's in his prime right now. I don't even think he's in his prime. That's the scary part. I think he's going to get better. You know, my only concern is what is this fight? What if the fight make goes five rounds? He got tired against Gilbert. But even then, I don't think he'll need five rounds, not even three rounds to beat uh, Adesanya stylistically.